doing some work on my SA200. Um, I was having some issues with it. I had to um, rebuild the carburetor. Just got done doing that. Yes, I put a cane in on it because I didn't like that old bath. I'm not sure those are any good, but I'm going to try it anyway. Anyway, uh, had to rebuild the carb. It was really pretty terrible inside. I know that lower jet in the, in the bottom was plugged up. And it actually was running fairly decent. I mean, it, you had to leave the choke on halfway out to get it to stay running sometimes. But other than that, it was running pretty decent. Um, check the valves. Can't really find a straight answer on the internet as far as clearances. I know some said 12. 12 and 20,000, some said 6 to 8, some said 15, 14, so I just I left it alone. My intakes were about 8 to 10 thousandths, and I believe my exhausts were right around 16 thousandths, so they're all pretty pretty even, so I just left them be. Um, changed the plug wires and new plugs, and then new uh, gas filter, and even clean the sediment bowl out a little bit. She was dirty as fuck. And I've been trying to do some research online as far as you know, tuning these things, studying them, idle speed, high idle, all that. Oh yeah, and I put a new gas cap and rubber thing around the end of it. And I even bam new radiator. So anyway. He's running pretty good. It's still coughing a little bit at low idle. So I don't know if that's a valve issue. Maybe somebody out there in YouTube land can give me some ideas on why it's still coughing. At high idle, it's fine. It runs great. Um, the initial settings on the idle, at low idle, was 680, I think. So she was coughing real bad. Um, and I couldn't remember if the low idle was supposed to be at... A thousand or a thousand fifty. So I put it at a thousand fifty for low idle. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then my high idle is fifteen fifty, but I got it at about fifteen forty six ish, somewhere in there. And it sounds a lot better, running a lot better. So I'm I'm pretty happy with it. I checked my OCVs and jumping around but it's around 91 92 just under 93 where it's supposed to be at recently did the oil change on it as you can tell what's up dog where'd you come from and of course i got those big deal but anyway i want to go away i want to do a demonstration on how this all is running and here we go
OCC. About 92, 93 ish OCV, so it's pretty good. 123 out the outlet. So I'm just trying to figure out why it's coughing a little bit still. Anybody got any ideas? Let me know. I'd appreciate it. She's a good running machine. I did when I first got it. I've been working on it for the last several months when I get home. I don't know. Get a flashlight. Just running an eighth inch stick rod. I mean, that was my first initial testing with it and turned out pretty decent. So, and that was a little crusty ass. I've been out in the moisture rods, so done pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with it. Thinking about selling it, but the way she runs and welds, I'm kind of thinking about keeping it. But anyway, anybody got any ideas on this cough? Uh, I'd appreciate it. Any input? Thank you.